Hi everyone, this is Nia and today I'm going to compile a website for my portfolio or artworks by using Wix which is the sponsor for today's video. Wix provides you with web development services with a drag and drop method which makes it very user friendly and effortless to customize. For further information, please go to the first link in the description box. We can start by creating an account and once I log in, I'm going to click on my profile photo then click on create a new site. This will bring you to a page where you can choose what your website will be for, whether it be business, design, blogs, online stores, and so on. For this case, I'm going to show you how I build my portfolio website, so I'm going to click on the portfolio and CV. Next, you have the option of choosing whether you want to let Wix Artificial Design Intelligence to put your website together. For my case, I'm going to show you how I use the editor, so I'm going to choose the one on the right. Now I have the option of choosing a template, so I'm just going to look around and see which one suits my needs. You can actually just go to any of the options like the business design photography from the previous page and still customize everything, but I like to choose what is closest to what I want so I don't have to change the design as much. I quite like this one on the left because it looks very clean and straightforward so I'm just going to hover over the example and click view to see the content of the website and just navigate around the pages. Wix also gives you the option to preview what the website will look like on mobile so to check you can click on the mobile phone icon to see the layout. I'm going to go ahead and edit this one so I'm going to just click on the edit button on the top right hand side. Now I'm in the editing mode of the website and as you can see there are a variety of tools and options. I like to use the ones on the left and I'm just going to go through the ones that I'll use for today. The first one is menus and pages. These are what controls your pages and subpages, so you can add on or take off any that is already on the template. The second one is background. At the moment, my background is only white, but you can choose from colors, patterns, images, to even high quality videos to be placed for the background. Number three is the add button. This one is so useful and fun as it controls a lot of the design aspect where you can change the fonts, add images, change the layout of galleries. They even have high quality vector art and many other things to decorate your page with. I'm going to skip the fourth one and go straight to media. And this is where you can link or upload your photos from different apps. You can also edit them by clicking straight on the design, so it's very user-friendly and fun to use. Here is where we can start to edit the website. Firstly, I want to figure out the header and the footer design as it will be the same all throughout. First thing that I'm going to do is to change the name on the header to my own by double-clicking on the name here. When you change the text, a window will pop up where you can adjust the size and even the font. I'm fine with the font so I'm not going to change it but you can change the font here where Wix will give you a lot of options to choose from. I find that the name is a bit small though so I'm just going to increase the size slightly by dragging this to the right. Just make sure that the name is highlighted when you're going to change the font and increase the size. You can also play with the alignment of the text if you would like to, along with other customizations here. But I want the design to be clear, so I'm just going to keep it as it is. I do want to add a little bit of a design element though, so I've prepared a small illustration that I drew out and I want to place this next to my name. To place this illustration, I'm just going to click on the add symbol on the left here. I'm going to go to image and click on my image uploads. This is where you can import your files that you're going to place in the whole website including the gallery later on. And here I'm just going to click on upload media then I'm going to drag and drop my image file here. Once it's uploaded just click on add to page and it will appear on the editing page straight away and I'm just going to resize it by dragging the bottom right corner and then I'm going to place it next to my name. Whenever you've made design changes you can always go to the top right hand side of the page where it says preview to check if you like the design or the alignment that you've made. 
You can also change the design of the header by clicking on the header and going to change header design. Here a window will pop up and you can choose different designs. I want my header to have a clean line so I'm going to choose this one then I'm going to go to customize design and change the color I want everything to be fairly neutral so I'm just going to pick a grayish blue midtone color that will go into my swatch palette and I can use later on so I can make the whole website cohesive I also want to change the width of the border so I'm just going to drag the bottom border width and see the size that I like. I'm going to repeat the same steps for the footer as the swatch that I pick will now appear on my palette. Then I'm going to adjust the thickness by dragging the arrow at the bottom and shifting the placement. Wix is very intuitive which makes it very accessible for everyone to use. The next thing I want to customize is the horizontal menu. To do this, I'm going to click on the menu and go to manage menu and it's going to bring me over here on the left side. This is where you can operate how many pages you would like to include in the website. So for my case, I want a page for my work, about page, Instagram and also YouTube. I'm just going to rename everything here and also go to the add page so I can have all four ready and now as you can see I have four tabs on my page. After this I'm going to change the design. Again I'm going to click on the horizontal menu and this time I'm going to click on the brush icon so I can choose the different layouts available. Then adjust it by going to customize design because this will be active links. Don't forget to also check the hover as well as the clicked design by going to the different tabs in the little pop-up. And I'm just going to go to preview to check how it hovers and clicks. Now I'm going to change my gallery to display the artworks that I have. Like before, I'm going to click on the image here and if you don't like the layout of the gallery, you can go to settings then layout where there are many options to choose from and you can really have a play around with it as Wix offers so many great designs. I personally want the grid layout as most of my photos are square and then I'm going to go to customize layout. This is where you have a lot of control for such specific things like spacing, rounding corners, changing hover colors and many more. So there's no limit to the customization that you can do which makes this so much fun. I have many images that I want to upload but I want to separate them in groups of subpages. You can upload the image by clicking on the gallery and manage media. Then I'm going to upload 8 of my paintings which I will turn to links later and then just delete the default images. Next I'm going to create the link to the images and what you can do here is go to the site menu on the left and add page. Since I want 8 pages I'm going to add eight pages and name them after the separate subjects that I displayed on the gallery and I'm also going to delete their default. Then I'm going to set all these pages as hidden first so it doesn't appear as I hover over the tabs. For those individual pages, I'm going to set a gallery from going to the add icon and choosing the layout that I like. Then I'm going to just follow the same procedure as I did for the portfolio page and repeat this for all of the pages until I'm done. And here's just a quick preview of the sub pages that I've made. At the moment, these pages are not linked individually, so to link it, I'm going to go to Manage Media by clicking the gallery and I'm going to link each of the images to the page from this option on the right where I can choose those pages that I just created. And now you can just head on to Preview to see if your pages are linked together. I want to keep the about page clean and straightforward so firstly I'm going to delete the default images. For this I'm just going to upload a picture with a bunch of my artworks and place it on the right hand side. Then I'm going to create a box taken from the add icon and then going to shape. Then I'm just going to click on it to change the color of the box and put the text along with my YouTube logo which I upload the same way as I did for the rest of the images. I also ended up adding a background to my gallery pages and I'm just going to apply this to the rest of my pages including the about section and the rest of the tabs to unify the design. 
to link my Instagram page, I'm going to the app market, which is the fourth icon on the left. Then I'm going to click on the ad for the Instagram feed. Then once the gallery pops up, you can go to settings and connect to Instagram feed. This will automatically link everything without having to place them one by one, which I find very useful. Then like usual, you can just pick the design as you did with the gallery. You can also feature YouTube videos on your website, so people are able to watch straight on Wix website without having to go to any YouTube links. To do this, I went to the music and video section from the ad icon, drag over the design that I like, then go to manage videos. Here is where you can individually copy and paste the URL of specific videos that you would like to be featured on your page. And once you're done, just click publish and that's pretty much it. Your website is now live. Even though you've published the website, you are still able to edit whenever you need to, which is so useful because you can update your website whenever you need to. There are so many other features available that I'm not able to mention in this video, but I hope you try it yourself and see the unlimited design options and flexibility of Wix. If you're interested in building your own customized website for different needs, please go to the first link in the description box. So that's it for the tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed this and get to explore this now accessible world of web designing without the complications of coding. And I'll see you at the next video. Bye!